Connecticut, too, both know months after McLean County's board rejected a plan for sequestration wells underground, the state appears close to joining in with the same answer. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyra Lopez. And I'm Janice Rempold. Thanks for joining us. Illinois' key regulators are hearing that they also shouldn't let the pipeline move forward. Lizzie Siles tells us how anti-pipeline activists in the area are reacting in tonight's top story. Lizzie. Tyler and Janice, you may remember the other proposed CO2 pipelines sparking conversation locally, like Wolf Carbon Solutions or the Navigator Pipeline. Both of those projects are now on hold. Now, another much smaller pipeline wants to run through Ford and McLean counties, ending east of Bloomington Normal, but state officials may say otherwise. In pages of written testimony submitted to the Illinois Commerce Commission, a state engineer looked into One Earth Sequestration's request to build a $19 million CO2 pipeline and says it shouldn't move forward. Any company looking to build a CO2 pipeline must get approval from Illinois' Commerce Commission and meet legal requirements for safety and public interest. It seems to me like the Commerce Commission staffers are looking for a very comprehensive package. Navigator hasn't delivered it, Wolf hasn't delivered it, and now One Earth has failed to deliver it. Engineer Mark Maple listed several reasons to reject the application. First, the company doesn't have all the necessary permits yet, including approval from Illinois' EPA and McLean County's board. The board rejected One Earth's request for a special use permit for sequestration wells in December. Second, One Earth doesn't have landowners' permission to construct the pipeline. Maple argued that's a sign the public doesn't want it, just like one of the leaders behind a Tazewell County pipeline opposition group. We have over 20 500 members all opposed to the pipeline. Right now there's th basically three pipelines being proposed in central Illinois and we are per fir firmly opposed to all of them. Third, there's no local safety plan in the event of a pipeline rupture, though One Earth estimates it will be done by 2025. Illinois is waiting for federal regulators to make new rules for pipeline operations and safety. They could, feeling pressure from all the people who want these built, put out some really flimsy standards or they could stick to their guns and put out something that is actually about pipeline safety. We reached out to One Earth Sequestration, which is based in Gibson City, via email and phone. The CEO could not be reached for a comment today. We also reached out to One Earth's attorneys, but also did not receive a response. The Commerce Commission has not officially ruled, but they must do so by September.